Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Carfishing.tips. We were at 50 Ram Dam again, and this fishing spot is more or less in the middle of the dam on the opposite side of the chalets in the event area. I think it's the west side of the dam. We were fishing with about 80% accuracy this um, weekend according to our fishing apps, and the weather was pretty good. Uh, we had three rods set up with the left rod cast out in front of us at around 12 o'clock position, the second rod at about a 1 o'clock position, and the third rod at about a 2 o'clock position. The day was really nice and calm, there wasn't much wind and wasn't too hot either. So we put in the rods and this time we tried adding some feed over the areas where we cast to see if that would attract any more fish. We got the idea from watching a Barefoot Angler, he's another South African carp fisherman in the, in the Cape. Um, he suggested it in a video and we thought we should try it and see if we get any any additional bite or if it brings on the bite a bit faster. Uh, basically what we did is we threw in the feed after we had cast the rod which Barefoot Angler doesn't do, he puts it in before I think he casts. Um, since our casting isn't as accurate as most, we decided to put in the feed after we threw in the, the bait. Uh, the feed is thrown in without any dips and it's just plain mealy bomb popcorn. We were using a catapult to try and get out to the um, uh, 12 o'clock rod, which is straight out ahead of us. Uh, that one we thought was out uh, about a million miles, but it turns out it was only 40 meters out. So we used the catapult to try and get the bait as close as possible. Yeah, the ground feed, sorry. Our catapult also broke halfway through the session, so that was a bit of a non-starter for us. As you can see here, we're putting on um, some strawberry and a tractor bowl dips from Detonated Dips, as well as um, we've got a brown foam float with the two strawberry millies behind it on a hair rig, and then we've got the strawberry millies on the other hook. We decided to try using some foam on the hooks as bait as we wanted to see if fake bait has any bearing on whether you get bites or not. And the one benefit of having fake bait on the hair rig is that obviously um, you don't have to change it out as often and it can't go anywhere. So there's always something on the hook. And that's really the, the, the one reason we wanted to try it. And the other reason we wanted to try it is because we wanted to see if um, putting the bait a little bit higher than, uh, well, you know, it's not critically balanced. I don't think that these are critically balanced, but I suppose that's what we're going for in a trial and error fashion um, to see if that gives us a better hookup ratio. We also put in our little telescopic again with the policeman and some, uh, we tried a marshmallow on it first. And then we just tried a plain old millie. Um, we also tried some floats as we saw some fish coming up to the surface very close to the bank. So we thought we'd just throw it in there as a bonus rod. So in case you're wondering what we were using on each of our rods on the 12 o'clock position rod which is the um, purple telescopic that we had uh, banana floats and almond minis with peach and tropical bowl dips from a to z baits um, on the two o'clock rod which is the middle right rod um, we put brown foam with strawberry minis and a hair rig and some strawberry minis on the bottom hook with strawberry and attractor bowl dips on it from detonator dips and then on the right hand rod which is, a, is which was in around about 2 o'clock position just had yellow foam on hair rigs on both hooks with bowl dips that were um, onion and peach puzzler from uh, Conoflex. As you can see we don't have any preference to any of the of the dips, uh, any of the dip manufacturers and we'll pretty much try anything and see 
think we managed to get anything. Um, besides the purple telescopic rod, that one we tried to get out as far as we could cast it, um, which is normally about 40-50 meters. Um, the other two rods, the one at one o'clock and the one at two o'clock, um, from our position, was probably about maybe 20 meters, maybe even less. Um, they were fairly fairly short in. And as you can see here, this is our um, tropical and peach bowl dip with the banana floats and, and uh, milli on it, uh, which was being cast on the purple rod. And that, uh, as you can see, was only a mere 40 meters, um, much to our amazement. And possibly battered ego. We did put on quite a bit of bowl dip on, on that rod just to see if the amount of bowl dip, if that changes anything in terms of uh, whether the fish turn on faster or not. We did a couple of tests in this uh, fishing session and here you can see we were using the catapult to um, put in some ground feed over the purple rods uh, feed. We did it on all the rods at this point. Um, started throwing in the ground bait by hand because those rods are obviously put in a bit shorter. As you can see more or less where we threw them is where it was where our, where we had cast out. And then while we were making some notes for the video, our alarm went off and we went into a fish. Hallelujah. felt like a really good bite and we were excited to see what we caught and with what bait. Uh, the bite came very soon after we topped up the feed around our cast and um, since the cast was clo quite close to the bank we were able to obviously throw it in by hand. Uh, after our last uh, fish that we lost right at the bank we took it real slow to bring this fish in and were careful and patient um, with bringing in the fish and we were definitely focusing all our energy on just making sure that that fish didn't come off the line. Um, we even put our boots on so that we can get into the water uh, if we catch a fish and try and mitigate any chances of us losing the fish. And this is our fish on the foam and milli hook with a number 10 hook on the top hook with the um, detonated dips in the strawberry milli. Um, we've also upscaled our hooks. were just a little bit too small and um, this fish was hooked perfectly in the bottom lip um, right through that fish was not coming off for, for anything. Um, if you can do it and um, we recommend it is, is definitely push down the barbs, get rid of the barbs on your hooks, um, makes releasing the fish much easier. Um, it obviously adds a little bit of difficulty or um, uh, it adds a layer of, 
of difficulty to catching the fish because obviously you don't have the barb uh, working for you and you've got to play the fish pretty good um, as you can see this fish was about 4.3 kilos with the net so the net is around 600, key, uh, 600 grams so the total weight of the fish was about 3.5 3.6 kilos um, and that was caught on the foam with a milli on a hair rig which is just awesome we were so shocked when we saw it um, and we were really excited that one of our ideas actually caught a fish on the first try basically um, this is the first time we tried it as you can see um, that was at uh, five, uh, t 20 past 5 we managed to catch the fish um, right in the beginning of the video where the little pink um, blocks are that's basically when we caught the fish um, just as an indication of whether the weather conditions or the fishing accuracy was actually accurate um, and here we are with the release it's beautiful little common and that's it guys um, we hope we showed you something new and gave you some ideas for bowl dip combos or hook baits or to try something new um, and until next time guys stay safe and tight lines <laughs>